So this is how to do a battery bypass. As you can see here, this bike does not have a battery on it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to power it on using this charger. So for example, this has XT90. So we made XT90 to XT60 on the adapter. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to plug it in real quick just to show you how this would work. Plug this in here. And essentially, this is sending voltage to this and we can actually power on the system and we can even hit you can you know we can hit throttle we're not going to be able to pull a ton of power from it but we can pull some power from it so the question is how do we do this quick and dirty so that we can just troubleshoot we have an xt60 here and in this event we have XT90, which is how like a lot of Luna bikes come. Uh, as far as the kits, they usually have Anderson, which looks like this. But in either event, you can still uh, you can still follow the same guide. So we have a couple pieces of wiring here, and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put we're going to go to the XT connectors. And you can see that you can see that these are actually bullet connectors inside of a plastic shroud. So we can we can put the wires inside of here, and you know we want to be careful doing this. We don't want to make the system short out or make anything worse than it already is if we are in fact doing troubleshooting. And you can see on the side there's a plus and there's a minus. I'm just using red wire because you know it's convenient. That's what I have right now. But you know we want to make sure in any case that we match these plus the plus here to the plus here. You know and ideally using the right color wiring for both. But in any case we don't necessarily have to. So we're just going to do this with you know what we have. Okay. So now we have the wiring set up in a way that. It's running directly from the XTs without an adapter. And you can see we have a couple wires and it's going following the right polarity. And we're checking by looking to make sure that it is minus to minus and plus to plus. We'll go ahead. And that is the XT90. And that is the XT60. So we'll go up here to the display, and we're just going to hit power. And we can see it's powering on, which is great. And we are seeing power, no problem.